We begin this morning's Broadway and Beyond with a new show inspired by a beloved children's book. The Little Prince will have its opening night Monday with aerial acrobatics. The international cast and creative team tell CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis it's a magical journey. It's time to take flight and enter the universe of the little prince. He finds a rose that is blossoming and he just falls in love with her and he's traveling in the universe trying to find a way to protect her. While on his journey, he encounters different people and characters learning many life lessons. From each character, there's a symbol, there's a message, so you can learn. Lionel Zelikas is the little prince. It's definitely an honor um, since it's one of the main books of the 20th century. The show is inspired by the best-selling classic children's book written by French author Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. For us, very meaningful to be in Broadway, to be in New York, where my uncle wrote the book in eight years ago. Since getting published in 1943, it's become one of the most translated books of all time, spanning generations and inspiring readers regardless of language, country or culture. We just know that it's impact a lot in the hearts of the people. It sounds like there's something that everybody could take away from seeing it. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. And all ages. Chris Maroon is co-director alongside director Anne Tournay, who is also its choreographer, bringing the book to life on stage through dance, acrobatics, narration, and vivid visuals. To give emotion as I receive the emotion of the book from my mother and from, I want it to bring back to the audience. Both say when creating the show, they never imagined they'd make it to Broadway. Incredible. Yeah. Let's say uh, incroyable in French. Echoed by members of the cast, especially these two who grew up in New York. Walking in the theater district and finally like walking to your own stage where you got your own nameplate. Dream come true. For folks who have stayed home for so long, it gives a chance to really travel. <laughs> Metaphorically, literally. And after the pandemic shut down shows, being able to bring a new one to Broadway is is something they don't take for granted. All of the artists in from the world, they hear Broadway, this is the top of the top, that is the dream. I think it's giving us even more energy to just try to bring back the audience, you know, and just help the whole industry go back. I think it's really special to kind of be part of this rebirth. Good evening, good morning, good evening, good morning, good evening, good morning, Opening night is Monday, but the Little Prince is only here for a limited time through August 14th. In Midtown, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Actress Deborah Messing stars in a new Broadway play that opens tonight. Broadway's finally celebrating birthday candles, which was delayed two years because of the pandemic. Messing plays a woman who ages during the course of the play. Her journey goes from 17 years old to age 107. The cast calls birthday candles a special gift they're sharing with theater goers. To age 90 years and 90 minutes and never leave the stage. Um, it is a challenge that I, I couldn't even imagine for myself. If we can all look at our lives as a piece of art, as a work of art, we really begin to appreciate all those little moments that we have with people. You don't leave there knowing that life is a mixture of a lot of things. It's almost like mixing a birthday cake. There's humanity, there's love, there's patience with other people. Your generation should get Birthday Candles officially opens tonight at the American Airlines Theater on 42nd Street. The playbill is a prized souvenir for theater fans of Broadway and beyond, but there are some playbills you just can't take home, like these giant playbill covers in the Broadway Grand Gallery exhibition, which were unveiled in Times Square on Thursday with celebration and song. The gallery features playbill covers of 21 currently running shows. You can see the playbill exhibition on the Broadway Plaza between 47th and 48th Streets until June 15th. Well, looking ahead to Broadway and beyond this week, as we mentioned, the curtain officially rises for birthday candles at the American Airlines Theater. 
Deborah Messing returns to the stage as a young woman that we watch age from 17 to 107 as she slowly finds her place in the world. And once again on Monday, April 11th, The Little Prince officially begins its run at the Broadway Theater. Based on the classic book, the play combines theatrical stagecraft with aerial artistry. And then on Thursday, April 14th, the revival of American Buffalo begins its run at Circle in the Square Theater. The play, Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Rockwell, and Darren Chris, three small-time hustlers, want a big cut of the American dream. Also on Thursday, Mrs. Doubtfire begins its run at the Stephen Sondheim Theater. The original play previously paused its run due to the pandemic. And for more stories on Broadway and the arts, check out the Broadway and Beyond section of our website, cbsnewyork.com, and look for Broadway and Beyond coverage every Sunday morning right here on CBS2.